Okay. The Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Wow. Let me just say um, that um, I'm very surprised that um, they actually uh, managed to pull through and re release the trailer because uh, I said in my live stream that um, usually um, the first trailer for a movie gets released four months um, before um, uh, the movie gets released, which means that... Um, <laughs> If they were committed to uh, releasing the movie this year in December, like they said they were going to, um, then this month would have to be um, the, the latest that uh, they could release um, the first trailer. And um, <laughs> I was really worried that um, the movie was going to end up being delayed, and, and that's why they haven't come out with a trailer yet, um, because they were going to delay the movie, and they didn't want to show any trailers until... Um, you know, like I said, the four months before the movie actually gets released. So if they haven't released a trailer yet, you know, that would explain why. Now, thankfully, um, they did release the trailer um, just two weeks ago. So and, and they're committed to um, releasing it in December. Like they actually said in the trailer, you know, coming this Christmas. So, you know, it seems like um, they're fully committed to actually releasing the movie this year, which is good, um, considering, you know, other movies that have, have been delayed. And, um, you know, because, you know, as I already mentioned um, before, you know, the pandemic is still going on. So theaters are not doing as well. You know, movies are not doing as well in the box office. And that's why, you know, movies are getting delayed and whatnot. Oh, excuse me. So um, it's very reassuring to see them, you know, actually commit to uh this december release um but but that said it, it's not like you know um the movie uh getting delayed is uh, completely off the table you know that they, they could still delay this movie if if they wanted to but um uh for now at least <laughs> it seems like um we are actually going to get this movie this year like they initially announced they, they would release it so um one of the things that um, I, I've seen people say, uh, particularly people who don't like MCU Spider-Man say, is that um, they don't think that um, the, the cliffhanger that, that Far From Home ended on uh, was actually going to be um, followed up on. You know, like, like it wasn't going to be a part of the plot or anything like that, which, you know, to me is just a really silly thing to think. Like, there's no way... That they would end, uh, you know, on a cliffhanger like like Spider Man's identity getting revealed to the public and not have it be part of the plot of the next movie, you know, like like that's just absurd to think. But but no, that the, there are people who generally thought that um, you know, that that wasn't going to be a, a part of the next film, and <laughs> I am laughing so hard at these people right now because just within. You know, like like the first thirty seconds or so of the trailer, and and these people are immediately proven wrong, <laughs> immediately because you know the, the the trailer basically starts with um you know parts of that scene um from like it looks like the movie is going to continue directly from where uh. The, the, Far From Home ended, you know, with Spider-Man's identity getting revealed to the public, and, um, you know, they're showing us dealing with him dealing with the fallout from that, and how it's not just affecting him, but also uh, other people in his life. So, um, you know, he goes to Doctor Strange, and, and he asks them um, if he, he could do something to make it so that way um, people never found out that he was Spider-Man, which is actually something that, that, that comes from uh, One More Day. Um, so, so basically, uh, in the aftermath of, of Civil War, uh, the, the comic story Civil War, obviously not the movie, um, basically, the Superhero Registration Act uh, forced superheroes to reveal their, their secret identity to the public, and that, of course, includes Spider-Man. Um, so, in One More Day... Um, what, what Spider-Man does is uh, he, uh, he basically makes a deal with Mephisto, the, the guy that everybody wants to see in the MCU now, you know, because of WandaVision. He, he makes a, a deal with Mephisto to uh, basically uh, undo uh, his identity being revealed to the public. And uh, 
but in doing so, uh, he also loses his uh, marriage to uh, Mary Jane, you know, so basically it's made as if, you know, they, they, they never were married to begin with. It's considered to be one of the worst Spider-Man stories of all time, you know, so that that's probably why this is the only element of it that they're using for the movie, you know, the whole, can you erase... Um, everybody knowing who I am thing. But then, of course, you know, Peter doesn't want everybody to forget that, that, that he's Spider-Man. You know, he, he still wants, you know, the people, you know, who he cares about and the people he trusts, like his Aunt May and, and his best friend and, and MJ. You know, like, he's okay with them knowing he's Spider-Man. He just doesn't want the whole world to know that, that he's Spider-Man. So, um, you know, th this apparently causes him to, to mess up the spell that Doctor Strange was trying to um, do and uh, you know basically you know we, we don't know exactly what the spell it, um, is uh, that Doctor Strange is doing you know because it's just a trailer and, and they're not showing everything obviously but uh, but basically you know the spell gets messed up and you know the the multiverse you know basically collides with, with everything um, and so that's how you know we see villains from, from previous movies coming into the MCU, you know, and uh, this is probably how, how um, they're going to introduce um, other characters from, you know, uh, the Fox properties uh, into the MCU, you know, like, I, 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 was, I was always thinking about, you know, how are they going to explain, you know, if they decide to bring in the characters from the Fox movies into the MCU, how are they going to explain, you know, how they got here? And, um, you know, I, I thought of a couple of ways of how they could do it, like, like you know, like, like Dr. Octopus falling into that thing that he falls into. Like, I know it's supposed to be like, like a small nuclear reactor or a miniature sun or, or something like that. I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen the movie in a long time, so I don't remember exactly what it was. But I was thinking, you know, like, like they could basically use that, you know, him falling into that thing as an explanation for how he comes into the MCU, you know. Um, it's not that he died when he fell into it, it but rather it sent him to another universe, you know, and, and that's how <laughs> he's in the MCU now. And, and of course, they could use um, Days of Future Past um, as a means of... Um, explaining how the X-Men come into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, but no, um, of course, it could always just be caused by, you know, somebody within the MCU messing with, you know, the time stream or the multiverse or whatever. You know, they could just come into the MCU from things happening within the MCU. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Uh, basically, what this trailer confirms is a lot of what the rumors that have been going around... Um, uh, you know, because there's, there's been a lot of rumors going around w w with this movie, you know, like like how, you know, Jamie Foxx is coming back as Electro, you know, Alfred Molina is coming back as Dr. Octopus, you know, and, uh, you know, like a lot of rumors, but but no official confirmation from anybody, you know, like, like you know, Sony or Marvel or, or whatever. But the, <laughs> with, the fi with the trailer finally released, um, now... Uh, those rumors are, are more or less confirmed. Like, like we didn't see uh, Electro in the trailer, but I can assure you that, that that's definitely most likely uh, where the lightning comes from. And of course, we saw um, the pumpkin bomb from William Defoe's Green Goblin uh, in the trailer as well. So at the very least, th those, those are the three villains um, that, that we're going to, to see. Uh, in the movie um i'm not sure uh who else we're going to see uh, some people say that it's the lizard that we see peter attack in the trailer um in the dark uh but i'm not 100 percent sure about that it, it would make sense you know given the whole multiverse thing but uh i wouldn't say with 100 percent certainty that it is in fact the lizard from the amazing spider-man movie um now um one thing that i i did talk about um in uh one of my live streams is that um i was worried about how the narrative um of the movie was going to be b because of the rumors and because of the cliffhanger that the the last movie ended on you know how exactly are you going to you know continue from where uh the previous movie left off of while also having this be a, a live action spider-verse movie and have it be 
a, a Sinister Six movie, you know? And uh, what this trailer shows us is that they basically figured out, you know, how to do all of these things all at once perfectly. You know, like, like basically, from what we've seen in the trailer, everything that they're doing to have all of this come together and have it make sense works. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited to see this movie. It, it's the, the most... It's the movie I'm the most hyped for coming out this year, for sure. You know, like, like if it wasn't for the delays uh, due to the pandemic and everything, then Eternals would be, you know, the most the movie I'd be the most excited for. But since this movie is coming out the same year as Eternals, um, I'm more excited for this movie, definitely, uh, than the Eternals. It's the movie I'm the most excited for, you know, of everything. So, uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to, to seeing this very much. And uh, I absolutely cannot wait for it. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what else to say. It's just, it's a really exciting time to, to, to be a, a Marvel fan, uh, certainly an MCU fan, and uh, yeah, I absolutely cannot wait. It's, it's going to be amazing. I uh, I look very forward much to seeing it, and, and and of course talking about it, you know, uh, after its release. You know, it's very exciting time to, to to be a Marvel fan.